So with gyroscopic precession, it just means that there's a spinning disc in the air, which is the propeller. And whenever you apply a force to it, it's going to reflect 90 degrees in the direction of rotation. So when we're in a climb, we got a spinning propeller, spinning disc, and we're going to apply a force to it at the bottom. When we pitch up, we're applying a force at the bottom. When we apply that force, it's going to be felt 90 degrees in the direction of rotation. So when we're in a climb, I'll show you guys. I'm in the cockpit. This is the propeller spinning. We apply the force at the bottom when we're in a climb. It's going to be felt 90 degrees in the direction of rotation. So it's actually going to turn us to the right. That's why they're called turning tendencies and not left-hand tendencies. Now, when we're in a descent, we're applying a force to the spinning propeller at the top. And it's going to be felt. 90 degrees in the direction of rotation. So that's going to become a left-hand turn to see when we're in a descent and when we're in straight and level, you're not going to feel gyroscopic